Okay, Cosmos Review, episode number two. Some of the things molecules do. They do a lot. Apparently they do. They can create a lot of things in like four billion years. You know? Who knew? Who knew? Right? It's, Am I it's right? That's all it takes. Yeah. Four billion years. <laughs> and, uh, and apparently that's all it takes. What, what, is that, what does that even mean? I don't know what you're trying to articulate it means, here, John. Uh, no God. There's no God. No. This, this episode was a little bit more heavy handed with the atheist. They, they weren't not shy. It they went... were not shy. Like every time he said one of those statements in yeah. the middle, I felt like it needed the word bitch. There afterwards. was one statement that was definitely my favorite mic, my, uh, mic drop moment, and that was science doesn't claim to know all the answers. Yeah. And then one of those knowing looks from Neil deGrasse Tyson uh, see, I, I at the end the, of that uh, one. I love the gravity comparison. Oh, yes. It's a yeah. fact. Like, Bitch. gravity. Like, every single time. He's like, he's like evolution happened. Bitch. Mother the complexity of the human eye poses no challenge to evolution by natural selection. Bitch. The theory of evolution, like the theory of gravity, is a scientific fact. Mother evolution really happened. Bitch. Yeah, no. Neil deGrasse Tyson just needs to. Like, that's how he. That's how he does it. He like says the most intelligent <laughs> thing ever, then just stops. Let's sink in. Yeah. This time I think it's. Yeah. God. Ever since I heard that rumor that he's just doing uh, fucking Carl Sagan. Sagan yeah. yeah. I keep hearing it more and more, and like there were times, like especially in the beginning. When he was doing, by the way, what was up with the gray, the the the, the gray, wolf, the the gray. I, the, that was the Liam Neeson movie. That the, was very the action hero. <laughs> I'm sure most people watching it will dig it, but uh, to the savvy movie going audience, it's going to be a little bit of an eye roller. It's going to be a little, little uh, cheese. Look, let, just let Neil deGrasse Tyson be an action star. He's, it's never going to happen again. There's just no... Let him live his dream. There's no more or less... There's, there's no uh, reason he couldn't be if, if an old Irish guy is. I mean, oh, he's I an old man. Like, there's no reason Neil deGrasse Tyson can't be an action star. All old if guys look Liam fucking Neeson is. <laughs> Anyways. But this episode mostly focused on evolution. And it started out with the concept of uh, how we've bred dogs to what we want them to be. Yeah. Which is also uh, how Richard Dawkins introduces his concepts of evolution in his last book, uh, Greatest Show on Earth. So... I would know. I don't, you don't read. read. He doesn't read. I just, this is why I, I have all my skeptical friends, so they read for me. Fun fact. And they just, John you know. Rail, actually illiterate. Um, <laughs> it's not that hear fun. hear from me, anyway. So I guess it's a little fun. It's a little fun. Did you notice lens flares? No, I actually did not notice really? lens flares. I was, was too impressed <laughs> by the science. I was blinded with... What, he blinded me with science. Yeah. I'm not going to play that music gonna, over, over that. I'm going to face push you into traffic is what's going to happen. Uh, um, it was during the whole mechanism thing, during the whole uh, uh, showing the mechanisms of DNA and structures. Oh, right, when they were breaking down the, the yeah. molecules of DNA. I swear there were several lens flares going on. Maybe it was the Hulu presentation not being in super high def. Right. But it... Uh, I caught I caught quite a few lens flares. Right. I actually, Abrams has fucked everything up. John Rail. Do we? It's more important. You know what I'd rather focus on? Uh, this episode had one of my favorite things about all science specials, which mm -hmm. really isn't to do with science. It's earth porn. Earth porn? There's nothing greater to me than watching a bunch of earth porn. That's why I got Planet Earth. That's why I got uh, Brian Cox's series. Uh, I don't know what you're talking the, about, actually, so. 
Oh, Earthborn is a concept. No, no, I understand oh, okay. that. I understand okay. that. But get with the Brian Cox and me were talking about it. Brian Cox, the uh, the great English uh, scientist, host, presenter. If there was no, no Neil deGrasse Tyson, Brian Cox would be hosting. You don't think it would be Bill Nye the Science Guy? No. Of course, it could have been Phil Plate. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are you so mean to Phil? What? I didn't make Bad Universe. Blame him. He didn't really make it either. <laughs> it had his name in the was, title. That was the Disco Network. You can't blame Put him for what the Disco Network did. In the title. Earth porn. It was, uh, it was fantastic, beautiful images of mm -hmm. creatures and trees and plants and earth. Right, and there was a lot of that in this episode. Ah, uh, high definition plant life. I don't yes. know why, but that, ah, uh, it's awesome. I will say my favorite part, I think my favorite parts of this episode were all of the uh, dramatic looks from Neil deGrasse Tyson, especially in the Hall of Extinct Animals. He if, was just like. If we could have a Hall of Extinct Animals, like a museum of extinct animals, that would be awesome. Don't we have those? I'm sure there's like pieces of exhibits, like natural, I mean, obviously. Natural history museums always have yeah. like dinosaurs. Yeah, we got a lot of extinct animals, but I'm saying just a museum, just dedicated to shit that's died. Well, we could open dot that. Com. We could, we should start a Kickstarter campaign and open Kickstarter, that. Kickstarter, shit that died dot com, who's with it? So the human eye gets explained. Well, they have, I mean, that's always the argument that's used by a creationist to like debunk and for, evolution. For the record, the last decade, the human eye has been visually, uh, computer graphically explained, broken down at least half a dozen times by half a dozen TV shows on half a dozen networks. So the idea that a creationist or an intelligent designer would still use that argument is sickening. Yeah, it's 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 bizarre that that's still an argument, but it gets it, it is a thing that gets rehashed the most. It's one of those. It was another nod at the, yeah. Yeah, you religious people. So I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, I'm glad that it's there again. You know, as a savvy viewer, I'm like, come on again. But, but here's the thing. We need here's, it. here's the thing. Neil deGrasse Tyson puts it in a way that's like, e that's like easy to understand and charming, kind of. You know, it's interesting to hear him talk about it, and he has it yeah. with such enthusiasm when he does talk about it that it's inspiring and it's a nice way to put the argument rather I mean, than just beating someone over the head with the science. Well, I mean, the Nova it. special did it really nice too. Not that anybody ever watched it. Right, but this is on Fox. People will watch yeah. this. <laughs> It's like, uh, I think uh, Randy Olson, I was talking to Randy Olson, uh, the guy who did Flock of Dodos, mm -hmm. and he said uh, that uh, he went to the Nova people with like some of his ideas, and they're like, we already, we already covered evolution. We already, we already We're done did with that. that. We, we educated that. the public, and now they're educated. Now they're educated, they just don't care. Yeah, this they is. They just don't care. But, this um, is how television science minds think. Not like Neil deGrasse Tyson, not like Randy Olson. They're at the forefront. Yeah. He says spiritual. He he's uses spiritual. In, there's nothing wrong with that. I use spiritual to describe my relationship with the but universe. But what does spiritual mean to you? Like, how spiritual, are you using I it? Think, and... I feel like he's probably describing in the way that I do, that I feel fulfilled and, like, centered and part of something bigger than myself when I think about my place in the universe. Yeah, and I get that. I get that it means, it really just means I feel emotionally fulfill, fulfilled and I consider what I do to be aesthetically pleasing. Yes, exactly. And that is what he, that's his relation to it nature. Just, that word just always bugs me. Why does it bug you? Spirit, it means spirits. Like there's something to do with spirits and there's no well, spirits. He's using it in like the colloquial term that just makes it means that he it inspires him in a way. And, and that's what that's what the public is going to relate to it, not that he f or, you know, that's how that's how it's going to it's going to be perceived. And, and that's in fairness, if we, if we are putting on our cosmos Doobie hats. Um, it does have that whole, you know, Piercigian, uh, go, you know, ghosts are all around us and everything we read and touch, like, you know, the artists, the creators right. standing on the shoulders of geniuses. So, so, you know, the, the, the world culturally, artistically, scientifically is, is filled with spirits, mm -hmm. if you will. Right. I just don't like, you know, I don't yeah. like it. Oh, well, here are here are the um, here are the the two issues that I really had with this episode. I loved it, beautiful science as always. I just wish these were longer. Like I feel <laughs> like the um, the first episode not present enough for you. No, it never, never is. Enough. There's never enough science. But it was like the um, the first episode kind of briefly touched on all of these points and put them in a beautiful like story arc that made sense and was very cohesive. And then the second episode, we're delving into specific points made in the first episode and expanding on them. But I just felt like there could have been more expansion. I just wish these were an hour and a half versus an hour long. Well, we got episodes. twelve or eleven more. I coming. know, but like you know, the next one's not going to be about evolution. That's and, true. And I feel like there was a little bit too much time wasted on um, 
CGI rendering of the inside of a bear. Like, I don't feel yeah. like that was entirely necessary. Cool and visually beautiful, as always, and more opportunities for those, like, those those action-y faces from Neil deGrasse Tyson, but, like, I just wish, I just wish we had focused more on, like, expanding the points. And, versus... and as I said before, like, uh, a lot of the CGI, a lot of the graphics, animation they use, it's going to hold up for a lot of years. Oh, yeah. The bear animation might not. Like, the, the CGI bear animation might not. No. And it might turn into a stark contrast between the cell animation, yeah. which I know some of you don't care for that style of animation, but you can admit that that's, you know, in 10, 20 years, that will still look like decent right. cell animation. Whereas, I mean, even though it's not, it's done with the computer, obviously, but right. it's got the cell style animation. Ha! Ah, difficult to talk about these things. Sort of right. like computer games. Like, you go back to a 15-year-old video game that used cell style animation, it still looks pretty decent as opposed to the, you know, top-of-the-line graphics video game from that same year. Right. And it really looks like shit. Right, 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 right. But um, I dig the animation. It was, I mean, I, I do love, it's not that I dislike the animation, I really like it, it's just, you know, Nice. Did the Did hunting they... creep you out in the animation? The hunting? Rawr, it was like something out of South Park. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh, animated carnage. Just dragging across the bloody, like, you know. And, and the kids watching would just be like, oh, look at those seals. Oh, my God. And it's totally that, like, South Park, you know, <laughs> blood streaking across mm -hmm. like, style. <laughs> that, that wigged oh, me out. Oh, man. That no, I loved it. Odd. What did you think of the Titan stuff? What Titan stuff? The end of the episode ends with him, like, him exploring Titan and kind of expanding on the idea that maybe life, that, not as we know it exists on Titan. That was fun, and that, that is, was cute. yeah, and that is definitely one of those fringe science, you know, he's addressing the fringe science, which, you know, who doesn't love fringe science? Why the hell not? Astrobiology! Uh, right? right? And, and that is always the argument people are throwing at people like SETI and stuff. It's like, why are you looking for life similar to us? It's like, because that's the only life we know. That's the only thing that we're informed to look for. Like, but, we don't know any better at this point. But we let's, can't. We're, but yeah. thinking, we're not capable of, exper of perceiving life as we don't know it. Yeah, Other but I, I like that he acknowledged the possibility. Right. That was, Absolutely. It's, fun. it's a good, it's a good thing to touch upon. Fun sci-fi, maybe not sci-fi. Right, and it was a nice, it was a lovely way to end. Um, speaking of the end, this is becoming... This episode, the end of this episode was definitely a love letter to Carl Sagan with the um, ending animation being from the original series and the original music. Yeah. And then the narration from Carl at the very end. It was very... We're turning uh, Sagan into a saint right I, here a little bit. I suspect they're going to do that at the end of every episode. Yeah. You know, give Sagan sort of recap of the Have whole thing. Have you heard the good word of Carl Sagan today <laughs> is, what I'm, is what I'm getting from it. I'm, I'm okay with that, I, I guess. I mean, it's, I'm fine with it. I do like Carl quite a lot. I spend a lot of my Sundays at the Center for Inquiry, so, you know, we all need our communal mm -hmm. gatherings. We're tribal animals at if the end of the day. If we want to call it a church, fine. We can call it a church. You know, maybe we could... I like my nerd gathering. Maybe we could get some of that tax-free funding that those pedophiles are so likely to get before us. So... It was pedophilia too much for you? No, 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 you're so, fine. Don't, don't. I'm so sorry. Caroline anyway. doesn't like pedophilia, apparently. Yeah, no, I, as it turns out, I'm anti Caroline's preju prejudice against pedophilia. Heads up, guys. Heads up. Ugh. That's the topic I actually did want to specifically address. Uh, the Fox News station... That cut out the 15 seconds. Yeah. And only about evolution. I yeah. actually... Did you watch the clip? I did. It was just interjecting the the news commercial, and yeah. it was all the fluff stories for the news commercial as well, for the news as well. It yeah, was just they just like, dropped the news story right over so his bananas. evolution section. It was absolutely bananas. But but I don't want to I don't want to leap to any crazy conspiracy theories here. I actually I do. No. I actually talked to uh, a friend at uh, NBC, and I asked him like, you know, how live is a live feed, and what is the possibility that they did this on purpose? And, and he said straight up, it's very unlikely that they did it on purpose. They would have had to have seen the episode ahead of time, which right. they technically could have, but I know that the, the premiere on the 14th, or uh, no, what day, on the 4th, right. was not airing anywhere near that town, that station. And, and sure, they could have had somebody time it out. They could have gone through all this effort in order to it's plausible do that one thing. That it was that it was planned. It's not likely. It's, it's not entirely a, likely. It's just it's a horrible. It's timing. a mistake that it's looks horrible. like shit. You it's, know, oh, makes us look so bad, guys. Yeah. guys, guys, <laughs> not good, guys, guys. Um, 
Yeah, you know, it's like when something accidentally sounds racist or homophobic, and it's like, no, I was talking about something that has nothing to do with people. It's like, nobody will ever believe you. No, so no, absolutely not. It sucks for them. Hopefully they make it up, or hopefully they made it up by a clean, crisply edited, uh, you know, correctly aired episode last night. <laughs> hopefully. We'll see hopefully. what happens. It's Oklahoma. My hopes aren't hot. I mean, what? And apparently they don't have much to do anyways, because... Uh, I actually tweeted at uh, one of their news anchors, and he tweeted right back to me. He's like, that's ridiculous. That's a conspiracy theory. And I'm like, ah, you got a fair point. Right. So thanks for responding back. And uh, But apparently he's got a lot of free time on his hands. Right. Well, <laughs> uh, nothing um, else to do. Just tweeting. I tweeting just... away. And it's so easy to tweet, because you can just do it from your phone. Yeah. But like all good journalists, he's, he's a tweeter. Right. Yeah, no, that's where Fucking that's where news about. happens. It's uh, it's 140 characters or less now. Yeah. Throwing poo. They actually show. They did. They show an ape throwing poo. It's that a chimpanzee. was chimpanzee. It's a chimpanzee throwing poo. I apologize. To <laughs> that's my... our ancestor. I apologize to my ape brethren for ever accusing them of being anything like a chimpanzee. Yeah, yeah I'll sir. be monkey racist. I don't care. Here's what Neil deGrasse Tyson said. He said we were related to trees. I I I'm not a tree. I'm okay with being. You would be. Well, once again, it was beautiful and amazing, and the 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 eye animations actually made me want to like cry a little bit because it's just so beautiful and so perfect and so all by chance, and it's just oh, science uh, makes me feel good inside. And you get to see, though not as well as we should apparently, fuckers. Well, we just yeah, you know. Fucking evolution. I mean, we'll we'll continue to evolve, and it will be fine. It will be fine. We'll be able to see an infrared eventually. That is, that's not how evolution works. Neil said so. Neil said that's okay. not how it works. All right. We just need to make our own eyeballs. We can do that. Top down thinking. Top down thinking versus bottom up. Bottom up. up. <laughs> like your mom. Come with me if you want to live.